Hi everyone, today we're going to look at Japanese knockweed and the root. Right here, I have a plant of Japanese knockweed. But before that, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Now here's a photo of what we're looking at. Close up. Okay. So, what we want is the root. So we're going to need a shovel. I use this hiking around. So. What we're going to do is find where the shoots are. And the shoots are the small little um, red, uh, reddish pink as of right now. But this is invasive, but it is really good for helping with Lyme disease is what it's really known for. So we're going to need to stick the shovel in, wiggle the shovel. Now don't pull back because that's how uh, real hard and that's how you break the shovel. A lot of shovels are broken that way. So you go down, fork it the way around, pull it up. Uh, this is a small one. Broke it off a little, but then it'll come back. A lot of people don't like this, but it does do a lot of good help. So, I'm gonna bring it a little closer to you. This is what we're looking at. Here's the shoots right here. As of right now, in about a couple weeks, they're gonna be a lot bigger and we can, I'm gonna be showing uh, that you can pickle those or eat them as is. Here's the root, the inside of the root is yellow. Here's a photo of what the uh, root looks like, a different root, and the inside of what it looks like. That's uh, that, and the uh, best way to get the medicine for helping Lyme disease or any other diseases uh, is make a tincture or a decoction. A decoction is cooking for about 20, 40 minutes or a little longer in boiling water. Or a tincture is using an alcohol-based liquid or a vinegar-based liquid. I'm going to do vinegar-based. They slightly do two different things, but very similar of the alcohol and vinegar based tinctures. So you want to chop the, well, first off, clean the root off, and then chop it up, and then add it to um, alcohol or the vinegar, and let it sit for at least a month, or, eh, or a little longer, and then you're able to use it by then. Um, don't use it too much of a huge dose. Use just a small amount. Um, maybe just a tiny, tiny little bit, like a, no more than a teaspoon a day. Maybe a half a teaspoon of uh, the tincture uh, would be best per day during the summer when there's very high chance of being bit by a tick with Lyme disease. So that's a Japanese knotweed uh, root and hope you like this and get outside, get fresh air and have fun. See you next time.